G'day guys, welcome to the Tank and Chopper channel. <laughs> it looks like the Sam and Luke channel here. So we thought we'd talk about Tank and Chopper. Yeah. Because we probably haven't spoken in detail about their personalities. Um, and their personalities are very different. They are, they they're are very different. So Although they, they look, are twins. <laughs> yeah. They and it's totally hard to tell them apart. Two different dogs. But personality wise, they probably couldn't be more different. Yeah. Um, their likes, their dislikes, everything. Yeah. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about that. And so in, in summary, Chopper is majestic <laughs> and Tank <laughs> is a little puppy. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's, <laughs> that's personality wise. Okay, so maybe. Elaborate guess, a bit further yeah, now. What does that mean? To you what that means. How do you interpret that? No, so Chopper is a, a lot more mature. He doesn't push his weight around, um, no. you know, in terms of like coming into maturity um, and wanting to be, you know, up there with Roscoe or like, so he's, no, he's he not doing what Barney does or no. anything like that. He very much, but he still has that air of, yeah, yeah. where I feel like he is making ground. But in a very but he's doing it in passive the, way. He's doing it in the natural way though. Yeah. The natural way of, you know, not getting involved in any riffraff because it's like, it's, I don't need to deal with this. He's better than that. Yeah, I don't need to deal with this. I'm going to yeah. do my thing. And then so naturally dogs start to gravitate towards that. Because Chopper has this undying love for you. Mm -hmm. You're his world, aren't yeah. you? He's always there. Yeah beside you. He is. Um, and he doesn't push in. Like I do no. find that he does allow, you know, Roscoe and the other dogs to have their moments with you. But um, he loves you very much. And you know, those quiet moments, he does take those opportunities like at home, you know, at night, at, in the evenings, like when you're sitting on the armchair yeah. or you're at the dinner table and he just wants to get in your lap. And then on top here, and then both of the arms over my shoulders, and then just pin my head there and just lick my face. Yeah, yeah. That's Chopper. That's Chop Chop. But Tanky Boy, he wants to do that to all the other dogs. He constantly is going up, licking the other dogs' he mouths. He loves everybody. Loves them all. Yeah. You know, he's a really sweet, innocent boy. He really and... is, yeah. He's got no agenda. No. None whatsoever. But everyone's like, leave me alone. Stop licking my face. Because he just loves them so much. Yeah. Even with little Wolfie. He loves the kids. He's the first dog in the mornings to come up and acknowledge Wolfie and want to say hello to Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a very cute and endearing quality that he has, isn't it? Yeah. Tank lives for really... Well, he loves dog diving in the pool and everything. Like, There's no question about that. But he really li lives for just coming inside. Yeah. He wants um, babies around him and he wants couch time, TV on and leftovers served yeah. um, throughout Readily. the day. Yeah. <laughs> he always sticks very close to a wolf, he doesn't yeah. he? Like even when he's outside. Like I noticed that when you um, took that trip to Queensland, right. um, Tank was even more like a magnet to wolf, you know, when oh, we'd really? go outside. <laughs> yep. He was yeah, like right. sticking close and really passively kind of you know, corralling him, you know, away from the drain or some dogs he's playing. Like, usually Luke does this, but yeah. he's not here. Well, he stepped up, so. Uh, good on you, Tanky yeah, he's boy. A, he's a very good boy. This is what we're talking about. He loves yeah. licking all the other dogs' mouths. Yeah. And they all just start to. He especially loves oh, Freddo. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's, it's funny because there's a big evolution to let all the dogs in. You know, you've got to mm. towel off feet, you've got to put a nappy on Barney, you've got to go around the house and find the deaf dogs that are asleep somewhere, oh, yeah. you know, and so it's maybe a five minute evolution just to let all Even the dogs in. Or maybe, yeah. So by the time I come in, all the dogs are, you know, rustling around, sniffing for whatever. Tank Chopper, fast asleep on the couch. They've yeah. picked their spot straight away and they're already punching out Zeds. Yeah. And I'm just like, look at you guys. They, you know, they, love, they love it, don't inside they? Inside time. Yeah. That is that is right up there, I do feel like with pool time. They're yeah. their two favourite things. Um, it, it really is. Uh, so, yes, they are brothers, they're twins, they're from the same litter, but they are very different dogs. They are, they couldn't be 
more different, I yeah. think, in their personalities. Yeah. I love them so much. Good job, mate. Good job. Good job, buddy. But in the time that they have um, been here at the farm, we have definitely see them go from um, quite clumsy, you know, not as able, like... Goofy, uncoordinated puppies. Puppies. To, to very capable and very, able dogs. Very, very agile and um, capable dogs, yeah. Yeah. That, that means stop licking my face. That's what that means, Tank. Oh, oh, cuddle time. That's what you want. That's what you want, boys. Oh, yeah, that's what you want, mate. Yeah, that's I do want. find that they have um, still that brotherly relationship um, where they do tend to always find each other at the end of the day, like they sleep together, you know, on the couch. Um, but they are a lot more independent now, aren't they? Yeah. You know, they've got friendships outside of each other each other um whereas like when they first came here oh that was thick as thieves in, inseparable they? in yeah but um now they're very much valued um individuals in the pack yeah <clears throat> yeah they're their own dogs mm. i don't feel like they have any of the um littermate syndrome no yeah because when they when they did come here there were some signs of it they um, they were actually they had to be separated at the at the at shelter the kennel, yeah, because they were fighting each other. but um, like we find now like I don't know how long they've been here for like it would be possibly six months now would it something like um, that. yeah but there's nothing between them that is no only every now and again you'll see them off in the distance and they'll just look at each other and go, want to wrestle? Yeah, I want to wrestle. Yeah. And then they get up on their back legs and just like, yeah. like a kangaroo almost. Yeah, and it's just, you know, brothers. Yeah, and it's... then they have a quick little wrestle and go, yeah, high five, and then run off. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. They're beautiful boys. They're awesome dogs, we love them. We do. They're full of personality. They are, and they're so loving and affectionate and sweet and... Yeah, they gives a real intense cuddles, Chop does. Chop, yep. yeah. And they really give you that look, don't don't they, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like Like if you're sitting down like food time or yep. you're handing out treats, Tank and Chopper will be the ones that will be sitting there just not breaking eye contact, yep. just in the perfect posture. Look how good I'd be. Tank like, totally yeah. has my number. Because he's always at the back door yeah. and he just looks at me and if I just look his way, he does like the tail, the tail wag, wag yeah. you know, and I can't say no. He's got to come in. Oh, Ooh, mate, boy. that's you. That's you, boy. If I don't even have leftovers, I've got to find them. Got to go and make some. I've got to go and make yeah, some. Yeah, I went in the other day and you pulled out some salmon from the fridge and go, <laughs> this was this was ours. I'm like, oh, haven't we got dinner in the oven? He's like, yeah, but we don't have any leftovers for the dogs. Oh, so you're cooking up some leftovers, are you? Three fillets of yeah, so which they love. Oh, didn't they? Wow. Yeah. So they're definitely living their best life, aren't they? Oh yeah. I, I look at them and I'm envious of the life they're living. I'm like, I wish I could just lie on the couch like that. And I sometimes forget, and then I'm reminded because someone will comment, you know, on how Chop put up that protest. Yeah. You know? Like you forget about Originally, it. Originally, how he came like, to the farm in the I first look place. At them and I think. My goodness, is he that intuitive that he, you know, he foresaw like yeah. how it was, it was all going? It was like to... his, it was his third time meeting us and his second time at the farm, because we right. met him the first time mm. at the pound, mm. and I instantly fell in love with him. I'm like, who are these guys? What's going on with these guys? You know, and I was, I was having a good pat with them, and um, then they came to the farm once they went out of impound and into the uh, D's there, and they came to the farm. The second time they came to the farm, it was time to get back in the bus. And Chop just went, I'm putting in a protest here, I'm just lying down, I'm not going. And any time the lead went away from the the van, he stood up and walked, and any time it went towards the van, he just laid down and just said, you're gonna have to force me in because I'm not voluntarily getting in that van. And you just it melted was and was like, oh, maybe he can just stay here for a little bit. I'm trying to think, like, I don't know, um, not seeing that I didn't, response Because I didn't, I didn't see it. It Obviously, it really, got something inside yeah. of me. He did it to me because yeah. you were over there yeah, yeah. and so he probably I, I didn't, you. I didn't, I didn't uh, see it but Jason came over <laughs> to me and he was like, I think you got two more dogs mate. I was like, what are you talking about? 
and then I look over at you and you're like, oh, it's okay, mate. Maybe you can stay here for a little bit. And I remember look, turning around going, oh, who, who's she it, saying this to? I don't reckon it went that way. I, I do feel like I might have looked at you and you were like, yeah, I really like them. Like, I feel like... You... <laughs> the, the, the two different versions. I like these guys, babe. Yes. Yeah. I like them from when we first saw them in town that day. Anyway. Nah, but... But he... he, he we, we, I chopping you and... Yeah, we're taking... Oh, who, who's she saying this to? I don't reckon it went that way. I, I do feel like I might have looked at you and you were like, yeah, I really like them. Like, like I feel like... You... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the two different versions. Anyway. Nah, but, but he, 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 we, he we, chopping you and yeah, we're taking the piss out know. of each other here. But we we definitely uh, love them. But I honestly thought, yes, stay here. You know, we really like these guys. But they'll be adopted tomorrow. Thousand percent. You know, someone's going to see these guys and adopt them. One hundred percent. So sweet natured. Yeah. We just thought all we'll have to do is show them in the videos yeah. and um, they'll get adopted. But yeah, surprisingly, um, they were here, you know, one week, two weeks, yeah. a month, two months, and we're just like, what is going on? Nobody wants them. And then yeah, we just. And went, then at Christmas time, we just decided, you know. Merry goodness. Christmas. You get to live here forever. And can you imagine if we had have said to them, oh, sorry, guys, your time's up. Off yeah. you, you know, to leave the farm. I just feel like. It's always a sad thing. It is a sad. Chop would have gone, no. Yeah. He would, he would have purposely sabotaged every meet and greet after that. Yeah. Yeah, he chose it from the beginning, didn't he? Mm-hmm. But they are really valuable members in our pack, aren't they? Yeah. You know, um, they, they have helped a lot of dogs um, and uh, they continue to. So we're very, we feel very fortunate to have them in our life. Thank you, boy. Beautiful boys. Yeah, We're good job, beautiful mate. Beautiful boys. Look at that. Look we, at should, that we should wrap it up. I don't know what to say at the end on this one. Thanks very much for watching the video. Stay tuned for more Tank and Chopper.